Hello, welcome to another installment of the Central American Group's podcast, in which experts discuss topics related to doing business in Costa Rica, El Salvador, and the rest of the region. Hello, welcome to another installation of the Central American Group series of podcasts. In these conversations with both people inside and outside of the Central American Group, we talk about things that are relevant in terms of doing business in the region. Today we have with us Jacques Cowles. Jacques is with a company called Gold Service that's based in San Salvador, El Salvador. How are you doing today, Jacques? Everything's fine, Steve. Thank you very much for inviting me to be here. Well, we're very pleased that you decided to join us to lend uh, some information about doing business in El Salvador. Could you tell us first a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the company that you represent? With pleasure, Steve. I am a business administrator with a master's degree in finance. I have 10 years of experience advising foreign investors who want to open their companies here in El Salvador, mostly on the regulatory matters. And Gold Service is a law firm specialized in company incorporation, intellectual property services, and corporate and legal advice with more than 23 years in the market. So you know everything that a foreigner needs to do to open up a company. But just to start with the first question, is it possible for a foreigner to open a company in El Salvador? Yes, it is possible for a foreigner to open a company in El Salvador. There is no restriction, neither for natural person nor entities. And are there any industries that are restricted or is everything open to foreign capital? Everything is open for foreign capitals. Is it necessary to reside in El Salvador to open up a business there? No. It is not necessary to reside in El Salvador. A foreign shareholder will require only to request the Salvadorian taxpayer ID. Okay, that seems fairly cut and dry. Is it necessary to travel to El Salvador when you're incorporating? Do you need to be there physically uh, present? It is not necessary. If the shareholders cannot come to El Salvador to sign the articles of incorporation, then they can grant a power of attorney to do it. And also, it is possible to incorporate a company and then transfer the share certificates. What's the minimum registered capital to incorporate an LLC in El Salvador? Currently, it's $2,000. Okay, and I've always had this question in my mind. Could you clear it up for me? What's the difference between an, what are an SA and an SRL and what is the difference between them? Well, in El Salvador, we have SAA, and there's also a variable with is SAA de CV, which means Sociedad Anónima de Capital Variable. This, this is the equivalent of a limited liability company from the United States, and it's a capital company and has the option that can vary the capital during the life of the company. Okay. Um... When customers of yours and investors want to set up a business, is it necessary to pay the registered capital amount at the moment of incorporation? No, they must pay at least the 5% of their capital and the rest within one year. How many shareholders are required to start up a company in El Salvador? In El Salvador, it is mandatory at least two shareholders. Okay. And what's the uh, process to incorporate an LLC uh, in terms of the time that it takes? How long does it take to set up a business in El Salvador? To register the article for incorporation and get the initial balance register at the Registry of Commerce, we take around five working days. Okay. You know, you've spent uh, the last 10 years working with foreigners that want to open businesses in El Salvador. If someone were to ask you today, what would be the most promising areas of the Salvadoran economy to invest in? What would be your advice? Well, El Salvador has many sectors that promise good opportunities for foreign investors. Investors, We have the textile and imperial, the offshore business services, tourism, aeronautics, agri-industry, light manufacturing, but I will go for tourism. That's uh, a sector that I like it, 
and that I think that it has a good potential that we need to develop and there is a good opportunity for investors to to develop the, the tourist sector in El Salvador. Well, I know that you've got beautiful beaches there. I've had the uh, pleasure of visiting one of them and I saw those nice waves that you have down in El Salvador for the surfers. Yes, we have nice beaches with warm water that we have to develop. You know, I know there are probably questions that will come to the mind of the listeners of this podcast. If they want to contact you, uh, is there an email address that uh, they can go to to be able to uh, ask you questions directly? Of course, Steve. My The email they can send any questions they have about Company Incorporation El Salvador is gs at goldservice.com.sv. Okay, and of course, the uh, website, the URL, if you could share that with uh, the listeners, that would be appreciated well as well. Yes, the website is www.goldservice.com.sv. Well, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, Jacques. I wish you good luck, and hopefully you'll see a lot of people from outside El Salvador who um, are able to ascertain that it's a place of opportunity, and hopefully they'll bring more investments to your country. Again, Steve, thank you very much for inviting me to be here. It has been a pleasure. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for listening. Sign up to receive the Central American Group's quarterly newsletter by visiting www.thecentralamericangroup.com.